Welcome back to Bytown Bass and everybody. We're out on a beautiful lake in Frontenac area today. I've been here many times before, but today I'm out with a vengeance. Today, we're finally gonna get a burbot on the ice. Let's go. We are gonna be out here for two days. I'm gonna make one video of the two days, all the action that happens in between. I hope you guys enjoy it. So while we wait for the primetime burbot bite, I do have a tip up set up here. We're in 45 feet of water. I have my six inch herring just about a foot above the weeds. There are very big northern pike and walleye in here. So I wouldn't mind picking one off while we wait for the primetime burbot bite to start. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, just chatting with Luke at the tents there and my tip up went off. Oh, she's spinning too. Yeah, got a nice, uh, about a six inch herring on there. Just stopped spinning, but we'll see. Hopefully she's still, oh yeah, there we go. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go guys, we got some weight. Thanks, Luke. Always important to manage the line accordingly. Don't want it wrapping around your hands. She's getting near the hole here. It's gonna take me a minute to pull her up, but hard to say. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh my God. Damn, we just pulled out this thick, beautiful walleye. Did not expect this. We're gonna get her back shortly here, but this is one of the bigger walleyes I've caught this season. Super unexpected. Look, what a start to the day. Let's freaking go, guys. Here we go. Awesome. Oh. Let's give her a second there. Big, thick girl, beautiful fish. Unreal. There she goes, kick off nicely. Look at that, guys. Unreal start to the day. Woo! <laughs> One thing's for sure, I'm bringing the friggin' heat this year. Got myself a 42 inch heavy fast action convergence rod with the 2000 series quantum reel. So we're ready to play with some big heavy fish now and set the hook on them in really deep water. It's interesting actually, because where you want to set up to target burbot in the evening and into the night is generally where you're going to set up for walleye prime time. So where I am today, there's a really good chance we could hook a nice one and then perfect. We're in our spot for the burbot right after. Well, that's a decent mark guys. There we go. No way. Oh, are we gonna get him again? Oh, he was he was there, guys. Oh, here he is. Oh, that was nuts. That's a good fish. Let's drop it past him quick. Oh no, he's still coming up. I didn't I didn't I don't even know what happened there. I didn't set into him hard enough, I don't think. It's a thing, this heavy rod going underhand like that, you can't really get as much leverage. Oh, look at him follow. Oh, he's interested. It's a nice mark. Okay, let's drop past him. He's flying back down. Let's drop past him, see if he hits it. Really nice mark. There, we just passed him. Let's try him again. There he is. There he is. That's a good fish. There he is. All right. Got a good one on Luke. Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't even seen him yet. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. Let's see what the man just got. Oh, you know. Oh, Beauty little gold bar on the, actually a dinner bell. I haven't caught a fish on yet at all. So that's kind of cool. All right, guys, beautiful walleye on the dinner bell. Kind of have the swim bladder coming out there. So we're going to try to release her quickly here. She was down in like 50 feet. So let's try to get her back as quickly as possible. What a beautiful fish. Oh, oh 
Yep, okay, cool. We're about to get set up for burb. So for dead stick and burbs, glow white jig head with a bunch of emerald shiners hooked up on it, as you can see. We just wanna get a bunch of meat down there. We wanna get a bunch of scent down there. I'm gonna sit this right off the bottom. The burbot love to move in. They're bottom feeding fish. You don't wanna fish more than a foot off the bottom for them. So I'm actually gonna be using this bright coffin spoon, cut up a herring into strips, and I've actually cut it on the bottom so that what I can do is jig it around and it's gonna flap around like a butterfly down at the bottom. We have a lot of scent, a lot of oil in this. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. This is exactly what the burbot are looking for. So let's get the lure charged up. We'll get down there and the last thing we got to do is catch some fish you have actually never held one myself closest i've got it is half out of the hole freaking haunts me all right and so the plot thickens some beautiful walleye today but not the target species of burbot that we were looking for stick around day two is coming up next yeah just like that, day two, baby. Hopefully, the burbot treat us well tonight. Got a sunnier, higher pressure day. Doesn't matter though. Dip ups are already in. We're set up at a slightly different location for tonight. Fingers crossed for some burbot. Much slower day today. Whew. Hopefully, prime time brings something. And then once the sun goes down, I hope the burbots move in. We're on. Here we go, guys. We got a burb. It better be a burb. <sighs> Gradual on the dead stick like that. Deep water. Awesome. Fighting hard. Oh God, please be a burb. I think he's getting, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes! Yes! The two year grind ends right now. Nothing big at all, nothing big. But our first burb through the ice, guys. Mariah, eel pelt, lawyer, ling, whatever you want to call them. Really cool fish. Uh, let's get him back. Awesome. Well, it definitely wasn't the biggest burbot in the lake, but we finally got a friggin' burbot through the ice. This is just the beginning of our burbot fishing for the season. I plan on getting specific gear and really trying to key in as we get into February when the spawn's going to start picking up and they're going to really start coming in in numbers. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and we'll see you guys at the next spot.